Hello everyone, my name is Hui from the National Institute of Informatics in Sokendai, Japan. Today, I would like to introduce our work Generating Master Faces for Use in Performing Whoop Attack on Face Recognition System. This work is a joint work with the EDI Research Institute in Switzerland. A master face or a whoop face is a face which can match with multiple facial templates. This whoop face can be used to attack the face recognition system. This is the overview of my presentation, including motivation, related work, proposed methods, evaluation, and summary. Let's move to the motivation. In biometric, a whoop sample is defined as an input which can be falsely accepted and a match with multiple templates. This work is motivated by this idea and answer from the concept of the master key, a key with the ability to unlock multiple blocks. A master face or a wood face is a face which is able to match with multiple templates of the face recognition system. For facial image, there is a work called face morphings in which two or more faces are merged together to form the morph face, and the morph face can match with all of its input faces. The weakness is that you need to know the identity of the victim in order to create a morph face. For fingerprints, there is a work called Deep Master Print in which the author generates partial fingerprint which can match with multiple templates without the knowledge of the enrolled ID. So the research vision in this work is about the existence of the Deep Master Face which has the same properties as the Deep Master Print so that we do not need the knowledge of the enrolled IDs of the face recognition system to attack them. And is this possible to generate high quality facial image instead of just partial fingerprint as the reverse work? Next, I will introduce a related work. First, we will talk about face generation. Previously, there are two major approaches to generate facial image. The first one is using variational autoencoder, and the second one is using GAN or WGAN. The limitation is that the generated images have very low resolution and low qualities. For the VEs, it has a trace up between the qualities and the intangibility. And for GAN, it is very difficult to train. Recently, there is a significant improvement in the development of GAN. For example, the Rorexil GAN, they train this in multiple stages, so that finally it can generate very high quality images. And the style GAN or style GAN 2 is the improvements of the Rorexil GAN, in which we can control the information in multiple stages. For example, for the core size, we can define the basic structure of the facial image and gender, and for the middle star, you can control the color of the hair and, or the skin. And for the fly size, you can control the detail of the facial image. And it has better this intangibility comparing with the reverse work. So in this work, we use Spygun to generate the deep master faces. Next, I will talk about face recognition or FR. A face recognition system has multiple stages of processing, include free processing, feature extracting, matching, and decision making. For a user, there are two phases. The first one is enrollment, when a user is enrolled into the system, and the second one is verification, when the face recognition system verifies if this user exists in the model database or not. In this slide, I talk about the whoop attack in which a whoop sample is falsified as septic by the face recognition system because it has the ability to match with multiple templates of this system. The whoop attack is dangerous because it does not require the knowledge of the enrolled user template. Next, I will talk about latent variable evolution for faster fingerprints in which they are generated by a GAN network then the output are scored by a fingerprint recognition system and the output score are used by the latent variable fitness function in order to calculate the latent for the GAN network for the next step and the progress repeats several times until some matches 
are found. Next, I will introduce our proposed method. This is the overview of our proposed methods. We use the latent variable evolution to generate the master thesis. At first, random latent beta are used by Steigen to generate several master thesis. Then, they are scored by the fair recognition system to compute the similarity with the enrolled subjects. Then, the score is used by the CMAES algorithm to generate new latent beta, and this progress repeats several times until we have the master faces which can mask with multiple identity. And then, the master faces are used by the attacker to attack different fair recognition system with different enrolled subjects. Here are our contributions. This is the first research to investigate the existence of the whoop attack on phaser domain, and we focus on both gray box and black box attacks. We improve the LV algorithm by changing the ways of scoring. Instead of using the binary output from the recognition system, we use the actual score so that the LV progress is smoother. We perform analysis about the mask IDs, for example, the gender, race, appearance, information of the mask IDs in multiple databases. Here are two visualizations in the training progress. The first one is the four matching rays, and the second one is the TSNE visualization of the master phases of an every 20 iteration. For the four matching rays, it is significantly changed in some beginning step and then gradually converse, so that the identities of the phases in some first step are different. However, in the last step, they just slightly change. The same thing happened with the TSNE visualization. In the beginning, it fluctuates a lot and go everywhere, but at the end, it just go around the best master faces with the best scores. Next, I will discuss about the evaluation for Steigen, fair recognition system, and latent variable evolution progress. We give different databases. We use three fair recognition system for evaluations. Which is the inception of Red V2, the phase net, and the DR GAN. These are for master phases generating using different phase recognition systems and different phase or databases. And you can see a master phase can be an old man, a child, smile or not smile, wearing glasses or not. You can see the shape of the distribution between the zero efforts in quarter phase to the master phases and there are some overlapping region between the January phases and the master phases. Here's the results of the master phase trend using the LFW's work set and the Inception RedNet V2 phase recognition system retries on the KSL web phase. And we test this master phase on two databases. The first one is the LFW's and the second one is the mobile and we use both development and evaluation set of them. There are two successful cases and both of them are from the LFW's database. The first one is the Inception RedNet V2 phase recognition system returns on the CASA web phase database, and the second one is the DRGAN returns on the CASA web phase and the multi peer database. Here's the result of the master phase trends on the mobile database. There are two successful cases, both from the Inception RedNet V2 phase recognition system returns on the CASA web phase database. And both results are from the mobile database and the LFW database. Here's the summary of our results on both scenario 1 and 2, which were trends on the same or different phase recognition system and databases. There are four successfully cases over existing ones. These are two examples of the master phases on the top left corner with red boundary. This two master phase masked with multiple identities with different genders different hair and skin color with or without glasses with various lighting condition. Finally, the summary of this work. Our method is simple but efficient. It only uses available resources easily obtained from the internet. It's run in less than 24 hours in a PC without a GPU, so the attacker can easily create the master faces to attack the fair recognition systems. And the master face can be generalized in some cases. The properties of the master phase can provide clues for us to understand and improve the phase recognition systems. Thank you for listening.